Early Life Madhuri Dixit was born on May 15, 1967, in Mumbai, Maharashtra, India, into a middle-class Marathi family. Her father, Shankar Dixit, was an engineer, and her mother, Snailatha Dixit, was a housewife. Madhuri grew up with three siblings, two elder sisters, Rupa and Bharati, and an elder brother, Ajit. Her early life was marked by a deep-rooted sense of discipline and cultural values, which were instilled in her by her parents. From a young age, Madhuri showed a keen interest in dancing. She began learning Kathak, a classical Indian dance form, at the tender age of three. Her dedication to the art was evident as she progressed rapidly, eventually becoming a trained Kathak dancer. This early immersion in dance would later become a cornerstone of her acting career, setting her apart from many of her contemporaries in Bollywood. Madhuri attended Divine Child High School in Mumbai, where she was a bright student and actively participated in extracurricular activities. After completing her schooling, she enrolled at Parle College, Mumbai, with the intention of pursuing a degree in microbiology. However, destiny had other plans for her. Entry into Bollywood Madhuri Dixit's entry into Bollywood was serendipitous. Despite her academic inclinations, her passion for dance and performance nudged her towards the world of acting. Her debut film, Abode, 1984, directed by Hiran Nag and produced by Rajashri Productions, was a modest start. Madhuri played the role of a young bride, and while the film did not make a significant impact at the box office, her performance was noticed. Critics appreciated her natural acting and screen presence, and it was clear that she had potential. The initial years were tough for Madhuri. Her next few films, such as Swati, 1986, and More, 1987, did not fare well commercially. Despite these setbacks, Madhuri continued to work hard, honing her craft and waiting for the right opportunity to showcase her talent. Her perseverance paid off when she was cast in the 1988 film Tezub, directed by N. Chandra. Breakthrough with Tezub, Tezub was the turning point in Madhuri Dixit's career. The film, which starred Anil Kapoor as the male lead, was a massive hit. Madhuri's portrayal of Mohini, a dancer with a tragic past, resonated with audiences. The song Ek Du Teen, choreographed by Saroj Khan, became an iconic dance number and catapulted Madhuri to stardom. Her energetic and expressive dance performance in the song earned her widespread acclaim and established her as a leading actress in Bollywood. The success of Tezub opened the doors to a series of successful films. Madhuri's on-screen chemistry with Anil Kapoor was particularly appreciated, and the duo went on to deliver several hits together, including Ramlakhan, 1989, Parinda, 1989, and Kishan Kanheya, 1990. Rise to Stardom Following the success of Tezub, Madhuri Dixit became one of the most sought-after actresses in Bollywood. She had a series of successful films in the late 1980s and early 1990s, establishing herself as a versatile performer capable of handling a wide range of roles. In 1990, Madhuri starred in Dil, opposite Amir Khan. Directed by Indra Kumar, the film was a romantic drama that became one of the highest-grossing films of the year. Madhuri's performance as Madhu, a headstrong young woman who falls in love with a rebellious man, was widely praised. Her chemistry with Amir Khan was noted, and the film's music, especially the song Mui Ni Na A, became immensely popular. The following year, Madhuri appeared in Sajan, 1991, a romantic drama co-starring Salman Khan and Sanjay Dutt. Directed by Lawrence D'Souza, the film was another major hit and solidified Madhuri's position as a leading actress in the industry. Her role as Pooja, a woman caught in a love triangle, showcased her acting prowess and emotional depth. In 1992, Madhuri starred in Beta, opposite Anil Kapoor. Directed by Indra Kumar, the film was a critical and commercial success. Madhuri's portrayal of Surasvati, a strong-willed woman who stands up against her oppressive mother-in-law, earned her the first Filmfare Award for Best Actress. The song, Doc Doc Karnlaga, featuring Madhuri, became iconic, earning her the nickname, Doc Doc Girl. Iconic Performances and Collaborations Throughout the 1990s, Madhuri Dixit delivered several memorable performances and collaborated with some of the biggest names in Bollywood. 
Her versatility as an actress and her ability to seamlessly blend into various genres made her a favorite among filmmakers and audiences alike. In 1993, Madhuri starred in Kalniak, directed by Subhash Gai. The film, co-starring Sanjay Dutt and Jackie Shroff, was a major success. Madhuri's role as Ganga, a police officer on a mission to capture a notorious criminal, was lauded for its strength and depth. The song Koli Kupiche Kia Hai, featuring Madhuri, became a massive hit and courted controversy for its bold lyrics and choreography. Madhuri's collaboration with director Suraj R. Burjatya in the family drama Hum Apki Hain Kun, 1994, was another milestone in her career. The film, co-starring Salman Khan, became one of the highest-grossing Indian films of all time. Madhuri's portrayal of Nisha, a vivacious and loving young woman, won her widespread acclaim. The film's music, especially songs like Didi Tara Devar Diwana and Pela Pela Pyar Hai, became chartbusters, and Madhuri's dance performances were highly appreciated. In 1997, Madhuri starred in Yush Chopra's romantic drama, Dilta Pagel High, opposite Shah Rukh Khan and Charisma Kapoor. Her role as Pooja, a dancer caught in a complex love triangle, earned her a fourth Filmfare Award for Best Actress. The film's music, composed by Utam Singh, was a major success, and Madhuri's dance sequences, choreographed by Shiamak Davar, were particularly praised. Personal Life Madhuri Dixit's personal life has been marked by grace and dignity. Despite being one of the most popular and sought-after actresses in Bollywood, she has managed to keep her personal life relatively private. In 1999, Madhuri married Dr. Sriram Nene, a cardiovascular surgeon based in the United States. The wedding was a private affair, attended by close family and friends. After her marriage, Madhuri took a break from acting and moved to Denver, Colorado, with her husband. The couple has two sons, Aaron, born in 2003, and Ryan, born in 2005. Madhuri embraced her role as a wife and mother, balancing her family responsibilities with her career aspirations. Comeback and continued success. In 2007, Madhuri made a much-anticipated comeback to Bollywood with the film Aya Nachal, directed by Anil Mehta. The film, which revolved around a dance teacher who returns to her hometown to save a dance academy, showcased Madhuri's impeccable dance skills. Although the film received mixed reviews, Madhuri's performance was widely praised, reaffirming her status as one of Bollywood's finest actresses. Madhuri continued to make selective appearances in films and television. She served as a judge on several dance reality shows, including Jalak Daikla Ja, where her expertise and charisma won her a new generation of fans. In 2013, she starred in Death Ishkia, a black comedy directed by Abhishek Chabeh. Her performance as Begum Para, a Nawab's widow with a mysterious past, was critically acclaimed. In 2014, Madhuri appeared in the film Gulab Gang, directed by Solmik Senator the film, inspired by the real-life vigilante group Gulabi Gang, featured Madhuri in the role of Rajo, a fearless leader fighting for women's rights. Her powerful performance earned her accolades and further solidified her reputation as a versatile actress. Madhuri also ventured into production with the Marathi film Bucket List 2018, in which she played the lead role. The film, directed by Tejas Prabha Vijay Oscar, was well-received and marked Madhuri's debut in Marathi cinema. Legacy and Impact Madhuri Dixit's impact on Indian cinema is profound. She is often regarded as one of the greatest actresses in Bollywood history. Her impeccable dance skills, expressive acting, and versatility have made her a role model for aspiring actors and dancers. Over the years, she has inspired countless individuals to pursue their dreams and excel in their chosen fields. Madhuri's contributions to Indian cinema have been recognized with numerous awards and honors. She has won six Filmfare Awards, including four for Best Actress, and has been nominated for the prestigious award multiple times. In 2008, she was awarded the Padma Shri, India's fourth highest civilian award in recognition of her contributions to the arts. Beyond her professional achievements, Madhuri is admired for her philanthropic efforts. She has been involved in various charitable activities, including supporting children's education and healthcare. Through her work with organizations like the Nanhi Kali Project, which focuses on educating underprivileged girls, Madhuri has made a significant impact on society. 
Madhuri Dixit's journey from a young girl passionate about dance to becoming one of Bollywood's most iconic actresses is a testament to her talent, dedication, and resilience. Her ability to captivate audiences with her performances and her graceful presence has earned her a special place in the hearts of millions. As she continues to inspire and entertain, Madhuri Dixit's legacy in Indian cinema remains unparalleled.